What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lady V. What's up, Pink Army? I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night, wherever you may be. Thank you so much for watching. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys around my nail area. Finally got the chance to get this done. And I will be doing an updated room tour because I have a bunch of stuff that I have to do in here. Like I have a mirror to put up, some shelves, some pictures, and stuff like that. So I'm going to get all that done and I will do an updated room tour. But in the meantime, I'm just going to show you around how it is right now and show you everything that I have, how I have it organized at the moment. And then when I do the updated room tour, you'll see a little differences. You know what I mean? So over here um, on this shelf at the top, I keep all my nail display rings and I have a bunch that I still have to put up and I have a bunch that I still have to do. But I also keep this cute extra bottle of hand sanitizer that I have up here. Um, I love the packaging on there, it's so cute. These two um, photo album books, I keep my stickers in. And down on the shelf, I keep all my charms, my jewels, my bling, all that kind of stuff for nails. And I have a couple of extra bottles of monomer here. I absolutely am obsessed with their monomer from Eno Couture. On this shelf, I have all mostly Eno Couture products and happy gel and stuff like that on this shelf here i like to try to keep it all together because it's also cute and beautiful and i love looking at it as a whole in this container here i have you know couture chrome powders and i keep them all in this container um i got these cute containers you guys from the japanese dollar store they were super cheap i think they were like two dollars each i'll leave that video in the description box down below so you can check that out in this container here i got um, mostly cluster pack jewels so i keep those in there from you know couture and stuff so that they stay all in one place so that when i go for one of those kind of things i know where they are generally don't all have to be from you know couture but they're all in that container so that was that shelf you guys on this shelf i have my play color palette that i'm using currently with has painting gels in it right now I have some extra nail art and stuff that needs to get put away and some swatch sticks that I need to put up as well. I also have my two uh, press-on nail stands to make press-on nails and stuff like that. A lot of people have been asking me to make press-on nails. I don't know. What do you guys think? But anyways, this drawer here has um, all my nail art palettes and nail art rings and I have some striping tape in here for nail art and yeah that's basically what this whole drawer is about is nail palettes nail rings striping tapes and that's about it it's all nail art and I do apologize about the lighting you guys my ring light literally broke when I tried to record this video, it just said, yep, yeah, that's it, done for the day, like, not working anymore. So in this drawer here, I have um, some extra uh, stuff, like sanding bands and just randomness. In here, it's kind of disorganized, but all this stuff needs to get put away somewhere. Um, I just have, like, some jewels in here. Um, this is a nail art ring palette that I use well, I don't use it yet, but I have another one that I use sometimes. And you can use it for like putting your paints on there and you can use it like that as a canvas thing. A palette, I mean. Um, I also have some glitters in here that need to go away. Like basically everything in here, I have some female sticks um, that need to go away, dry flowers, glitter, jewels, stencils, like it's, all needs to go away. In this drawer, I don't have anything yet. It's just empty. <laughs> um, down here on this shelf, I have mostly glitters. Um, once I get my organizing cart, I'm gonna be putting probably these in that so I can organize better and actually be able to see what I have instead of having to dig through everything. 
I really just don't even bother with that bin, basically it just stays there. Um, I kind of tend to go to this one more because I know what's in here. Like these containers are more organized so I know like this is basically hollow glitter and the other one underneath is like fine glitter and female pieces. Um, these are just in vogue gel pots that I don't really use that much. A friend gave those to me. Um, in this organizing cart, um, I have basically all acrylics, but we'll get to that in a minute. In here, I have, um, on this shelf here, I basically want to keep this whole, um, container thing as all Eno Couture products. I'm literally dedicating shelves and stuff to Eno Couture products, um, so that I can look at them. <laughs> I love them so much, they're so pretty and cute, and they make me happy, so... That's why you will see a lot of Eno Couture products out more than anything else. Um, these are all my painting gels. I keep standing up like that. In this drawer here, I keep my candy jelly. And I only have one of those at the moment. I keep in this drawer all Eno Couture paper nail arts. These are all the ones I have so far. So I keep them all in this little drawer because it's all Eno Couture. And in this drawer here, I have a Sailor Magic acrylic brush and I have an extra bling tool in here. So I just keep those two items in here for now. And these drawers I'm saving for Eno Couture products, but at the moment they're all empty. So yeah, they will stay empty until I have stuff to put in there to fill it up. And these things will get moved once I have other things to put there. On the shelf here, I have all Eno Couture products on this little caddy here. Try to keep it all organized and together. Looks so beautiful together. Have my nail art brushes that I don't use so much anymore. So yeah, I basically have just created a little pink and black happy space for myself that makes me happy every time I walk in here. It puts me at peace when I come in here and I want to create. And when I have fun things to work with, it makes it even better and makes me want to do more. You know what I mean? But this container here, you guys, um, this organizing cart, I'm actually getting another one of. And I'm going to be swapping out all my Eno Couture acrylics and stuff like that. That's all going to go into the new container. So I cannot wait for that to happen. But this is full of uh, Eno Couture acrylic powders. And I am obsessed with their packaging, you guys, and I love their products. So it's all Eno Couture for me. If I could have this whole cart full of Eno Couture acrylic powders, I would. I love these pink containers um, that the acrylic powders come in. These are my favorite um, out of all of them, but I love them all, obviously. So those two drawers are full of acrylic powders. This drawer is full of Eno Couture stuff. It has um, some nail tips and dual forms back here that I haven't ever used yet. I really want to use those Russian stiletto nail tips though. Um, these are just some random extra stuff. I have some pinching tools, some Lux brush wipes, some smoothie buffers and nail files. In this drawer, I have some Easy Flow acrylic powders. I love Easy Flow, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. They were my first love for acrylic powder. I never had um, any other acrylic powder besides Sally Beauty powder. And when I finally got some colored acrylics, they were all Easy Flow, and I was so happy. And I just kind of stuck with Easy Flow. I doesn't, wasn't really accustomed to shopping online at that point, or did I know much about nail products? So I kind of just stuck with those. And I used to make a lot of my own acrylic powders, um, so that's what you'll see in this drawer too, all those random containers. Um, those are all mixed acrylics that I made myself. Um, but the other ones, I have some Young Nail, Easy Flow, stuff like that in there. And in this drawer, I have some dip powders, some Sally's Beauty acrylics, um, some Easy Flow, some Lady Rose, um, and some random mixes of acrylic powders in there and this drawer is full of easy flow powders these are all acrylic powders you guys from easy flow i have some cover powders some glow in the dark acrylics just a bunch of different easy flow in there 
This drawer is all glam and glitz. I have some mood changing um, acrylic powders and I have some different colors, some bright ones from the diamond collection and some glittery ones. I really like this one, it's my favorite. Not just because it says my name, but it really is super, super pretty. But yeah, I do love a nice orange, you guys. So those are all glammy glitz. And in this drawer here, I have basically extra face masks and extra nail tips. Uh, I got these from um, AliExpress. And they have a really harsh, harsh C curve to them. Like, I'm not a, I like them but I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest with you. Um, these are disposable face masks that I got. They're just extra in my drawer here. And now that we have mandatory face masks again, they will come in handy. So in this drawer, I have more face masks, um, extra stuff in here, um, but basically all extra supplies and face masks. So I have some nail glue in here, and some Lux brush wipes, some hand sanitizers. And in this drawer here, or this bin I should say, I have a bunch of different stuff that I'm going to show you guys. Um, this Eno Couture bag, I just threw my pencils and pens and stuff in there so I can keep them all organized. So when I go for a pen, I know where the frick they are because it's so annoying to have to write something down quickly and you cannot find a pen anywhere. Um, this uh, pouch is like has different compartments in it and I used to take it to work all the time and have like all my pens and stuff that I was like, you know, tools and stuff that I needed for work but I stopped doing that. Um, in this container I just keep all my nail art, press on nails and stuff that I'm not using anymore. Um, old displays and stuff like that I keep those in there I don't know why I continue to keep them but I just do I just throw them in there um, and here I keep a bunch of foils gold foils copper foils silver foils all different kind of foils I keep in there I have some nail forms from Eno Couture down there I actually have another roll that needs to go back in that um, container but yeah this bin here has a bunch of transfer foils that don't really have a place to go so I kind of threw them all in this container here so I know that they're all transfer foils and down there I have more nail art and stickers and stuff so that is that bin you guys I try to keep it all as organized as I possibly possibly can with what I have to work with In this bin, I have all my transfer foil boxes stacked up in here. Um, I try to keep them all together. I do have some other little containers that are in a separate bin underneath that I just showed you guys, but there's really no place for those to go in here, so I just keep them separate. Um, so those are those bins on that shelf, you guys. Over here, I keep all my nail polish in these two containers now because I don't have a shelf to put them on so once I get my shelves up then hopefully I can put these up as well I got to go through them make sure that they're all still good still um, these are some nail art striping um, nail polishes so liner brushes I should say this is just some polishes and just random polishes you guys have some cuticle oil in there those two storage containers I'll show you guys in the next video, um, my updated room tour video once I got them all organized. They mostly have polishes and gel polishes in there that need to go somewhere. On this shelf, I basically keep my books from when I went to school and I still reference back to those books actually a lot. And I have my textbook and some cute tissue papers down there. On this shelf, I have um, a bunch of different things. I have some poly gel kits and gel polish sets and stuff like that. And this little container here, um, I keep micro mini beads in these small containers. Um, I also have some micro mini beads in here and some in the back of this container in little containers. 
and these are just gel polishes that go with Femi Beauty's poly gel kit. I also have some um, other gel polish sets here as well as poly gel kit. I only have a couple poly gel kits. I don't have many. So I keep all that kind of stuff on this shelf so that I know where it all is. I'm not sure once I put my shelves up if I'm going to take everything out of here and put it all up or if I'm just going to keep it in their boxes or not. I'm not sure yet. But that's what I have on that shelf, you guys. And up here on this shelf, I basically keep um, all my one, two, three, go nail tips in this container so I can just, I know where they all are. It's easy to keep them separate from regular nail tips. In this container, I have mostly nail art. I have some Sharpies for marbling and um, some stamping plates, I have some silicone molds and chrome powders as well as some seasonal nail stickers and stuff like that in that container. Up here I keep all my kawaii designs that I've done so far. I have some other ones that I haven't put up yet that I have to do and um, some little cute decorations that I've got from like really good friends and stuff like that. On this shelf, I just have a little LED light and my stone that I used to use a lot for my nails when I used to do my own nails. I have my, my Melody mask here. And on this shelf, I just keep my um, things that my friends have given me. So that Aurora stone's from my best friend. That goddess rose quartz is from my best friend. And I keep those things up there. Just for like, I'm really into those kind of crystals and stuff like that, so. This is the shelf, you guys. That's everything that I keep on that shelf there. So on my other shelf in the corner here, I keep up top my crystal rose teddy bear that my um, other friend got me. And I have a little jar here that I keep that says petty cash. And I keep change in there. I have my goddess head here, my pink goddess head. And I also keep my nail display hands on this shelf with some really cute little containers that I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna use them for yet, but for right now, because I have two of each of these, I'm going to just keep them in this little container here for now. On this shelf down here, I keep mostly all my practice hands that I've been working on, you guys. <laughs> these have been sitting here like this for quite some time, looking like eyesores, and I am working on revamping all of them individually, one by one. This um, is a robe or sorry, apron that I used to use when I did nails, but I've been using my Eno Couture one recently now. Um, on the shelf here, I keep a bunch of different types of bags that I can use for nail art stuff. I keep everything in a bag or a container or something. So I have some compression bags back there also that I actually do use for items, not for clothes. Um, in this container here, I keep all my designs that need to go up on display boards. So these are another little project that I have to work on. These are finished sets that need to go up for display for my kawaii designs and stuff. So yeah, that's everything that's on that shelf, you guys. Down here, I keep these frames that I made myself, basically. Um, I'll leave that video in the description box down below. I didn't make the frames, I just made the glitter part of it. Um, down here on this um, bottom rack, I have this compression bag full of nail tips and these are basically only nail tips that I use on my practice hands. They're mostly super long and a lot of them are like have a really bad curve to them that like I would never wear so I don't even know what I'm going to do with those tips but anyways in these containers here I just keep things like this. Um, I have some toe separators, some Hello Kitty, Twin Star, My Melody, um, stickers and nail files, Karomi, um, stuff like that. I just keep it all in there, things that I don't really use that often. And um, yeah, so that's what's on that shelf, you guys. Down here, um, I just have my boxes from my nail drill and my darling lamp. I just keep those down there. And 
you know, I don't know, I just keep them there just in case I move or something and I need to put my drill in a box or my lamp, whatever. So that's everything that's on that shelf, you guys. So this is my desk, you guys, and this little caddy here is where I keep all my brushes and my nail art brushes and my glue and my nail prep and cuticle oil, all that good stuff that you would use to do a set of nails. My hand sanitizer, my monomer jar, my nail drill, my recording stand, and my darling lamp. Have some drill bits and sanding bands. Everything that I need is right around. So this is my pink little happy humble space I've created for myself, you guys. I feel like it's extremely important to create a space that makes you happy and represents you as an individual, as an artist, or whatever it is you may be doing. This space makes me happy. It represents me and everything I love. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to be making some changes here soon and I'll have some updates for you guys. So I'll do that in my updated room tour video. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Share this video with a friend. Tag a friend. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought down below. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or any other platform at Lady V Nails. Shout out to all my beautiful, amazing subscribers. Shout out to the Pink Army. I love you all so much. And until next time, please be positive. Stay safe. Be kind to everyone, including yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next one.